Yes, finally, finally. Finally! So of course we're back with another Talk About video. So yeah, we did get some new news for Global right here. Global did hit first once more. Um, did I close my, yeah, close my window because people are, are lowering, lowering their grass. Oh my lord. Yeah, they're lowering their grass. Um, people are mowing grass in the summertime for me, like where my neighborhood where I live, it's, they, they just go insane. I don't know, they just like, I don't know what they do. They just go insane. Like every summer, like last year, the Dallas Hub Ranch, people were cutting grass. I definitely remember that because I was going over the um, app icon and info and stuff like that. I definitely remember that. It was just chaos, like utter chaos. Like every year is utter chaos, though. But yeah, I know you guys, like, you know, summertime is always because again, people's grass grow. It rains, it's been raining a lot, so people's grass has been growing back really fast. It's been a big thing, though. So yeah, go be the hit first and stuff like that. Again, this is maybe just a me or like a neighborhood thing, but I just, I can't help it, though. It's just, it's just like, like people just do all that. It's just it's insane. You can get to my video, then it's like, I had to restart it, especially last year, man. Like, seriously. Like, yeah. Of course, when it gets cooler here in September, it usually gets cooler around here, and like where I live in the U.S., um, it usually it tends to get cooler. So yeah, people don't have to cut the grass as much. So that's right. Um, the grass doesn't really grow much like, cold like that. Sometimes it might, but again, just because it rains and the sun comes out in the summertime, it's just you know a mess. But yeah, oh, nothing. Don't uh, my life. Ten thousand like, minute hour long life story there. Um, a million years, ten thousand years life story there. Um, Global Day hit first once more, which actually is really good though. Of course, I did actually see just see the celebration info for um the other new um Super Vegeta celebration. I'm gonna do that video right after this. Um, but yeah. Um, this cool new global guy at first to get is great. I keep thinking it's JP because JP did finally beat that horse girl game. I remember I saw the meme, it was like Barry Allen from The Flash over like all over Queen's Grave going like, like it was like, um, Doki doing like this while, um, Genji, like, well, um, the horse, um, was it like Munasuma? Something like that. Um, this is like a horse girl racing game, it had like anime and stuff like that. It was really popular. Um, it got a mobile gacha game and then of course you know beat it out because a lot of people do have to remember the jp marketing for like doken and stuff like that in general it's insane like people don't understand that i mean i kind of get it if you're just the only global main you don't care about jp or you just don't care about jp at all or you just play jp and stuff like that in general people had to understand that literally like that like in japan mobile games and stuff like that doken's big legends i don't think it's as much but it's pretty here it's on the news like global like it's on the news here and there um but um yeah it's insane. People gotta understand that. Especially if a token is Dragon Ball. Everybody loves Dragon Ball at this point. If you don't, then it's it's fine. Who cares? Like, I mean, you're not a Dragon Ball fan. You're not a Dragon Ball fan. But in general, though, yes, it is crazy, though. But yeah, um, it was cool. The global hit first. Though. I'm kind of glad that they did. Um, again, but again, like last year and stuff like that. Like for the JP celebration, when they hit number one and stuff like that. I believe that was the last time they hit number one. No, I think Saiyan did. I think Global hit Saiyan did number one, but JP didn't because um, both months um game. I know last year for Global, I know last year for Global, they hit number one for the Project Banner as well. Again, the rewards and stuff like that for JP are going to be the same as Global. They never really change it. They might have like a couple of coins. I think last year they had a couple more tickets. That's pretty much it. They do like, that's all they really do. Like they don't change the prices or whatever. They always keep it the same no matter what. So yeah, again, they always keep it the same no matter what though. Beyond the prices and stuff like that, of course. So really good stuff this time around. Of course, Global got seven stones. Of course, for every country we hit, it's been confirmed ever since STR Cooler a couple years ago for Global. Um, he, I believe, he was, he was before saying day before Bardock in 2019. Um, he, or 2020, one of the two. I know, 20, 2020? Wow, not for now. Um, he, um, 2020, um, yeah, it was 2020, or 2019, what, whatever. Um, but yeah, Boba got, of course, seven stones, like I said, for every country we get, we always get stones. So, if we get, we already hit, we hit France, that's one country, so yeah, of course, seven stones. There's always friends, don't get the France committee is insane for those. Um, I know like Japan, I think China, not Japan, but China, Luxembourg, the typical stuff we always get. I think, not like Nepal or like Nebraska or whatever, or Antarctica or whatever. I don't know, I just thought that. Um, but yeah, uh, they always get every country. So when we hit number one again, we're gonna get like 14 stones, you know, another seven. I think Global kept hitting like a new country in the Dallas celebration last year. Everybody forgot about that, and Global got stone for all of that. And Global got like what, 70 or like 75 or like 85 stones or whatever, because we got, we hit a country almost every single day. Which actually was really good. One grand kind of each typing. Really good though. I feel like they pushed it to five at least, but one is enough. Uh, six, of course, Platinum Hercule statues. Um, 30 story keys, really good. 60, um, um, it'd be good at 66. But yeah, they get a lot of these six year coins. Again, they go crazy for six year coins. It's like 50, 60, 66, 15, um, anniversary coins. Was that, uh, during anniversary tickets, which actually is really good. I'm about to hit 100 plus right now. Um, I have a mission I haven't done because I've been just so busy doing other stuff. 
um, the last couple of weeks recording this about that. Just in general, we're just busy playing Xenoverse 2 a lot. Get all the Dragon Ball writing up my um, story rank and stuff like that. Um, and five Rainbow Six. Which actually is really good. It's just for this banner though. This one you like the banner. Um, also, um, I actually did vote the banner. I know a few have something on it already. Probably use the tickets and stuff like that. I say if you don't want to. Okay, my mouse is being weird. If you do not want to like summon on stuff like that, I recommend using the tickets on this. But I don't recommend it. Like I, I mean, for summoning wise, I know a lot of people did summon and stuff like that in listen or whatever. I kind of get it again. Percy LR, all that stuff. I kind of get it though. But in general though, I do say skip the banner though. I say I probably say it's end of saying for worldwide. And that's something for Videl her banner. It's good in value, but it's just Videl herself. Like again, she's like a link up like with like Sands or whatever. Just in general, because I know Sands put him in the game and stuff like that. But again, we had like Dill Confess like Andrew Seventeen Golden Frieza that had it done really well. And, um, you know, not hit number one, but kind of close. I know Tabion and Minosha for the LR, they hit, like, number six on, like, the Jamie store. That actually is really good. I think Bedell hit, like, four, I believe, or six as well. So, yeah, they did good. I was Bedell is, like, your best Doka favorite, like, character, which I kind of get. I don't say skip the anniversary, because this anniversary, for me, has been really good. Again, you'll put, I mean, I know for other people it hasn't been, like, good or whatever, but these banners are really good, though. Like, I got an STR Vegito. Um, I, I didn't get, like, Evolution from Vegito, but I got pretty much everything else off the banner. And this is really good. Like, Cell's still good. Um, Maji Vegito's still good. Kepler is still good. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is still good. Hit, I know a lot of people don't pray on him. He, he's good in some situation, but otherwise, um, I, I don't know. I just kind of you know, I know everybody hates it. Ender 17 is still good once he gives his EZA afterwards, and Evolution Move Vegeta. Once he gives his EZA, it's going to be later down the road. Even you got Goku Spinner still good. Like, these bears are good. Like, Angel Goku, or Gohan, um, Beerus. I mean, he kind of lost value. Buhan, like, he's still disgusting. You got Goku, one of the best EZAs in the game. LR UI Goku, one of the best LRs in the game right now. Uh, Ultimate Gohan and um, Piccolo are very solid as well. But yeah, again, I pull it. Again, you'll pull more stuff off this, even though using the tickets. You'll pull. Because uh, I say a lot of people get like, lucky and stuff like that. Pull, like, go, like, go off singles. I've seen the summons and stuff like that. Yeah, like, it's worth it to summon all these banners. Even with the Rainbow tickets, I recommend doing it. Uh, thanks, um, um, tons of thanks tickets. I recommend using those. Not for this banner, because again, you'll get, like, this, um, set of uh, which is useless. You're useless. You're actually really good, though. Like, Golden Frieza at 17 are really good, um, and saying in general. Because again, they are really good, though. Like, I'm not downing on them. Because 17 is mainly, um, useful, like, of course, like, you know, for seven units. Um, universe 7 units. And look, Universe of the Saga, if you really want to go there, build the hybrid team of Universe 7 and of course, um, Universe of the Bible Saga, or if you're missing, like, uh, one unit. Again, you're not in, like, a dire need to get 17. Sorry, the format's off and stuff like that. That's how it... <laughs> that has been a, for, like, every video. But, yeah, um, I highly do not, like, just, again, they're, you're gonna get them in the future regardless, though. So, again, you could summon, get them in the future or whatever. Like, just get, just, I don't know, like, even get better or whatever, though. And even, like, 17 and Golden Freezer. Like, they're actually really good as well. They can build up their quick chance and stuff like that. I know a lot of people don't really see the value in that, but they can build up their current chance low-key and later down the road. But they actually are really good. Again, they're both really good. I just probably got to use them though a lot though so um yeah like i've been using like a friend evolution blue vegeta and ui goku because i haven't got mine done yet but yeah they're both really actually really good i've got used to vegeta i like goku as well again they're both really good so yeah again i recommend using the rainbow tickets on these though um i'm just saying in general or you can just wait you know or you wait something on videl like i said no don't do it i'm joking though but yeah um but yeah though um okay my mouse um mousey please okay there you go um but yeah um, again, like I said, the Gogeta band, like, you guys don't know what's like all your stones, because we're going to come back in like December and stuff like that. And of course, then we got the Rainbow Ticket back here as well, though. So, again, you don't have to like use it all in one go. You can just wait for this. But I really don't recommend saving it for this one, because there's so many units on the banner and stuff like that. You're probably not going to get, um, you know, like a good evolution move Vegeta, because you got so many other LRs on here. Again, the rates are lower, though, for these guys, though. But overall, though, yeah, again, you can just wait for this to come back on Global in like December. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, Global, why are we going to wait for Global? Blah, blah, blah. If you don't, then we'll just play JP at that point. I don't care. I'll play Global because I like being behind. I like playing ahead. I like saving my stones, having a strategy and stuff like that. Like, I'm going to summon this banner, that banner. Even though, you know, sometimes Global and JP combine and do something completely different. Like, last year with LR Gohan. Really good stuff there. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, though. Um, yeah. And like I said, like, something on this banner, like, for me, though, I'm just saying, like, all of these units, like, I just went over. Uh, like, this banner is really good. Like, in value, I recommend probably something on this banner more, like, in December. Maybe doing a couple multis and stuff like that, though. But, um, yeah, like, this banner is really good. Like, Gogeta, Go Tanks. Goten and Drums are so good. I've used them. They're actually really good. Um, Pycon, I've used him a lot more. He's really good. I haven't used Nippa as much. So I've been using like a friend Pycon. I've used, he's really good. He's going to age really well. Kalkin Blue Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta are actually still good. Gotenks is still good. Gohan 
it goes in my eighth bit, but they're still really good, though. I know the meme that they've been on every banner every year. They, they, this year, yeah, they have no excuse. Took them off this banner. Throw them in the trash. I have a trash can right here. I'm mean, recycling bin, but yeah. Um, Stray Wilson, but Gogeta's still good. Ain't Gogeta's still good. Like, there's value in this banner. I recommend summoning on this one of these stupid, like, you know, Videl banner or whatever, though. But yeah. Um, even like the, um, even the regular six year banner, like if you have a summon on this, summon on it because there's so many LRs on here now. Like there's just so many um I can make the down here. I can make the score down. Um again, there's so many LRs on here, LRs on here and stuff like that though, but it's more than summoning on like that stupid, like, you know, um in general, it's like it's more than again. I you know we don't have like Tibby on Notion, like um, Super 17 on here, but again, it gives there's more value here summoning on this than like you know, because you can you get our Jiren baby, um, Kel Khalifa, go, um, you know, LR UI Goku, LR Broly, he's one of the best LRs in the game, probably right now. Easy A, you're about to get easy A in a couple more hours, probably, but um, yeah, like. There's tons of value in this stuff here. Don't summon on this stupid, like, LR banner, though. I was saying, don't waste your stone on this banner. It's not worth it, though. But if you want to go ahead and summon, I'm not going to doubt you on that. And 17 and Golden Freeze are your favorite characters. I'm not right. I'm, I'm saying, if you want them, go ahead and get them. I was saying, it's wasting value summoning on it with the stupid Rainbow Ticket banner with this. So, I'd rather say summon on these. You have better value. You have higher value. I said in every video, you have higher value here. You have better chances of getting, like, these guys, these better LRs here. I mean, I'm not saying these guys are bad, though. But I'm just saying, like, you'll get them in the future, regardless, though, anyway, though. They're going to be on every LR banner forward regardless in the future anyway but um yeah so much go ahead and the video there like i said use the rainbow tickets for like the lr banners the new um lr six year banners don't someone don't use them on the other banner you could get lucky because i said a lot of people get lucky like vegeta blue it's a vegeta but again just again i'm just saying it's, it's better to put it on towards the six year banners than like the lr banners because again those banners suck you're not gonna again we have a lot of lrs in the game now but on top of that as well again we have a whole bunch of lrs in the game now that's great you can pull a lot of them but you're not gonna pull like 17 to go in a freezer like right off the bat though or advice versa team universe seven see you guys there though thank you guys for watching have a great day great luck all good again though make sure you always stay safe wash your hands god bless all of you I'm going out and we're a math on toilet paper if you really need to i'm just kidding though what guys think about all this info though of course did you like it did you hate it i think it was awesome i think it's great again I feel like putting the um your stones towards I mean your stones and like tickets whatever if you have someone or whatever. Um but yeah, I mean if the discounts are gone, I don't recommend doing it because it's just wasting a lot of stones at that point, just straight up 50s. But um yeah, I mean it's value though, but yeah. But yeah, like I said though, um I recommend doing these. I highly recommend doing those, like using your rainbow tickets for these. Now these banners again, you're gonna pull a lot of LRs. I see people put LRs off this, you can pull a lot of them. Cause we have so many at the game at this point, but you're not gonna pull like 17 or golden phrases though. Again, you're gonna summon and get like that um you know, you get summoned and get like, um, I'm sorry, I'm not about this. But you get summoned and get like this Frieza, this 17, and stuff like that. Yeah, you're gonna get horrible trash. You're not gonna really get that. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. We can help. It's out.